Hello everyone, today we're going to be solving the Practice It Java 5th edition exercise 7.21 called Is Magic Square? And this problem reads, write a method called Is Magic Square that accepts a two-dimensional array of integers as a parameter and returns true if it is a magic square. Magic matrix, I mean, a square matrix is a magic square if it is square in shape, which means that it has the same number of rows as columns, and every row is the same length, and all of its row, column, and diagonal sums are equal. And just one example they gave is 276951, I mean, 438. And this is a magic square since all sums are exactly 15, which includes all rows, columns, and diagonals. So we're going to start by creating our method public static boolean is magic square. And boolean, since we're returning a boolean value true or false, and is magic square is just the title of our method. And our parameter is going to be one two-dimensional array that is uses integers, and I'm just going to name it A for now. And there's just going to be one base case we have where if A dot length is equal to zero, then that means that it's instantly a magic square because if you think about it. Um, if you think about a square with zero dimensions or all, all dimensions are equal to zero, then that means there can be nothing inside and therefore all the sums are technically equal and therefore it's a magic square. And then we need something to confirm that um, we need to confirm that what we're using is an actual square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called int len, which is just the length, the length of a of zero, which it's just going to be the length of the second dimension. So so the length of this, the first dimension is three in this case, and second dimension is each of these, which is also three. And the first thing I'm gonna do is check if those are equal. So I'm gonna do that by running through the first dimension of this array. So if length is not equal to a dot i length, then we have to instantly return false. Sorry, this indenting got messed up. Return false. And then we're also going to do that for the uh, columns. Or actually, we don't need to since this is referring to the first column anyways. So it doesn't really matter. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to create a temporary variable called sum, set that equal to zero. Then now we're going to get into the actual checking for magic square part. So a dot length, i plus plus. And we're going to need a temporary variable, but we're going to create that later. So right now I'm just going to be adding these values 
in so sorry so right now we're just initializing sum so we can use it for all the other cases we're checking we're basically just adding 2 7 and 6 so we're gonna get 15 and then we're using that one calculation to check everyone else's calculations to see if they're correct So we're going to start with these guys. So we need to create a temporary variable, set that equal to zero. And then Then we're going to do a nested for loop, sorry, nested for loop, int j is equal to zero, j is less than a of i dot length, j plus plus, and then we're going to add these values to the temporary variable. And if, however, after you test, or we're testing right now, if, if it's not equal to the sum that we declared before, we have to re return false. And then after this, we're just going to be doing the same thing for... Or column so I'm gonna copy this again this time I'm gonna switch oops sorry. not that and then this time it's just gonna be like this and then yeah so this I think this should work Yeah, and then, then we're going to be checking the diagonals. So I'm going to create another variable called that. Oh, before we do that, I forgot to reinitialize sum over here. Oh, actually, we don't need to do that since sum is going to be one value forever that we're going to be checking for everything. So let me check the diagonals. So for diagonals, uh, we're going to be using this 4x4 four four as an example. Let me erase all these. Sorry. And so if we look at the diagonal that goes from the top left to the bottom right we can see that the indexes are increasing from zero zero just increasing one one two two three three so that's how we're going to check that and from the top right to the bottom left the indexes go from three zero to one one two zero three and it can be the other way around too. It depends on which way you're starting at. Uh, but all we need, all we know from this is that um, if we're going to start at the top left and go f to the bottom right diagonally, we can just start at zero, zero and increase I and J by one. And then uh, in a nested for loop or non nested. And then in the top right to the bottom left diagonal, we can set the initial value to the length minus one, so four minus one and zero. So this is gonna be initial and we're gonna be subtracting one every time to this while we add one to this right there. So that's what we're gonna do here. So D 
plus equals a of i i and this is going from the top left to the bottom right in the example i just showed then we're going to check if d is not equal to sum again then obviously it's going to be false so set that return false and then set d equal to zero again since we're checking a different diagonal this time and this one's going to be a little different so instead of d plus equals a of i i we're going to do d plus equals a of i and then a dot length minus i minus one and then again we're just going to be doing this and then at the very end we're gonna check if or right, we're just going to return true so that we don't get a compile error when we run this now let me try running it and we can see there's a few errors so line 13 and this for some reason didn't work. So line 13, what line is that? Oh, right here. So, oh, so this is assuming that we're checking A and the first dimension is already zero. So I'm gonna need to make this equal to a of zero dot length so that it doesn't go out of bounds and then for this case it looks like 9 15 12 15 so those work 19 okay so for that one uh, we messed up the column I believe and to fix that To fix that, we can just switch i and j here. Let's see if that works. And that worked. So I hope that was helpful. And make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more. And I'll see you in the next one.